Hi, hello, welcome. It's Pip here from QueenPipCards.com. Thanks so much for joining me today over on my YouTube channel. Uh, today we're talking folds. This is a simple Z fold card, which is quite hard to say. <laughs> I've tried this three times. Um, and it's probably one of the first sort of fancy folds that you might make as a card maker. So for anyone out there who has never made one of these before, I thought I would show you how. So this is one I've made previously. This uses the mosaic um, mood speciality papers and this uses punches so you can make it even if you don't have a die cutting machine at home uh, and you're a you know an early crafter as it were then this is a good one that you can start off with i am going to be making one that is slightly more complicated in the sense that it does use a die but apart from that everything else is exactly the same so the first thing you need to do is you need to cut a piece of cardstock this is mint macaron cardstock and i've cut it down from a4 so this is, no, that's already pre-cut. Let me do a, a, dif a differentiation. So, so this is the A4 size. Um, let's do it this way. <laughs> so this is A4 size, and you can see I've just taken the end off here um, because A4 size is not, um, it's not an even number. It's like 29 point something or other. Um, so we take that and we chop it down to 28 centimeters this way. Uh, but we leave this as ten and a half, as you would for any normal card um, card base that you're going to make into an A6. So this is an A6 size card. Um, normally it would be like that. And we've just folded that over. So that's the basis of a Z fold. So you take this and then you score it at 14 centimetres and then 21 centimetres. So you've got this like a long piece and then two half pieces. And this is literally the basis. So normally a card base you'd fold over. This one we've scored it so that you can then just fold it back on itself. And that forms your Z fold. Okay, and it's called a Z fold because it looks like a Z. Simple as, okay. So that's the basic layout. Um, and that's really simple. And then what we do is we cut some layers. So I've cut this one to the normal 10 centimetres. But because we've chopped that end off, we need to cut this down. So this is now... Uh, 13 centimetres and a half this way because this ends up at 14 centimetres so that's 13 and a half then we're going to cut some designer series paper this is the ornate garden designer series paper and this again just mats down so it's normal nine and a half but this time it's by 13 and then these little mats are going to sit on here and these are uh, six and a half that way by 10 and six and a half by 10 and then this is uh, six by nine and a half and this is six by nine and a half so you can see how simple it is to just get those to to go together so we'll just stick those together and I'm going to use my and obviously on the back is this lovely gold and we could you know we could make it really lush and use the gold but I like these daisies they're all I know they're not all called daisies they're called something else but I really love this sort of smiling bunch of daisies um, staring up at you and they work beautifully with our daisy punches so that's what we're going to be doing we're going to be doing some daisies Jeroboam something like that I think that's what they're called I don't know I'm not very good at my flower names I just know that I know the common names so daisies <laughs> I know chrysanthemums I don't think they're chrysanthemums because they haven't got enough middle bits and um, yeah I think the white ones are oxide daisies I don't know what the other ones are called but anyway I'm sure a gardener on here will set me straight but that's that's literally how you do put those together just simply glue them together and then we're going to glue them oops she says if she can get a glue working glue these to your base leaving that nice layer around the outside you want to be careful not to put too much on the inner layers of these cards because they do add extra bulk because you're folding them back on it on themselves so you know be careful don't put layers and stuff here because when you fold it down it's not going to fold flat and the whole point of this card is that it'll fit into a normal size envelope and it will go in the paste as a normal letter okay so that's our that's our layers done and you can see that when that when somebody pulls that out of a card or when it stands on the mantelpiece it's going to look so lovely like a whole field of flowers I really like that 
So then for my decoration for this, I've got some crushed curry. Uh, and this time we are, as I said, we are going to use um, the uh, a die set. We're going to use the Stitched So Sweetly. So, yeah, Stitched So Sweetly dies. Uh, these two dies are the ones you use. Um, you'll notice I am using these a lot because I just really like them. And we're going to use this I Can't Thank You Enough stamp, um, stamp from it because I love sending thank you cards and I have a lot of thank you cards to send. So I've got that mounted and then I need my ink. Okay, so I've got my Early Espresso ink, which is what I want to use because it matches the centres of the flowers and it will work, it will um, coordinate. That's the word I was looking for then. I was stamping. It will coordinate with my daisies. Okay, um, and you'll understand that when I start doing my daisies. So I'm going to run this through the Big Shot or any die cutting machine that works with our dies. You might have to do shims and stuff. Soon we won't have to. Soon we'll have a new die cutting machine. I can't wait till that arrives. Okay, so that's going in there. Let's get the Big Shot out for now though. So run that through. Then I'm running through one of these pieces with this uh, crush curry with this die. Okay, and the reason why I do two layers is because when you're doing something that hangs over the edge, you don't want this to be too floppy. So even on this one, when I used um, the Everyday Label Punch and then the Tailored Tag Punch, I did it so that it was two layers thick and it stands nice and strong. Our cardstock is strong, but if you were just using the Whisper White layer, it can be a bit wibbly wobbly. So I always like to double up when I'm doing a Z fold or any kind of 3D um, card that requires um, something to hang over an edge. So we're going to layer this one up with dimensionals. Make sure that we're not going to have any saggy bits. There we go. I love how these dies just work perfectly interacting with each other. So just layer that one up. Oops, there we go. And then when you layer it to the front of your card, you need to just make sure that you're not gluing anything on the back here. Um, so you can use multi-purpose adhesive glue or you can use sna uh, tape or snail um, or you can use dimensionals, but I'm going to go with glue. And so what I try and do is work out roughly where I want it to be, which is about halfway. Turn it over and then I do a tiny, tiny pencil mark. And then that tells me I can't glue past that pencil mark. That just helps to keep it all in track. So pop some glue down and just make sure that I'm not going past that pencil mark. Then when I put it on, I sort of lay this where I want it to be and put it down to the pencil mark. Then I quickly turn it over and make sure that it is straight. <laughs> uh, but that's just a quick tip on how you can make sure that you've got your your um, your glue in the right place and you're not going to go over. All right, so then I wanted to just add something because it, it's lovely as it is, but you could just add just one more element and what I thought I would add would be like a little daisy that would match with it because we've got this little medium daisy punch which is just so cute so punch out two of these and then we're just going to put one on we're just going to curl the edges just with your fingers or you can use a bone folder if you prefer depends on how gentle you can you can keep your fingers going sometimes if you've got arthritis and stuff like that it can be hard to do these so using your bone folder works well then spot a glue in the center there offset them and then you have a daisy that cute so cute uh, and we're going to pop that up here with some dimensionals on the back and the little mini dimensionals work great uh, just to sit nicely in that gap so, whoops, and I've just moved all my petals because I did it before it was dry. <laughs> so move it back again, make sure it stays. 
Okay, and I want it just off to the side, so we've still got all the wording coming through. You can see the wording, but you've got the daisy there. And then to fill the centre of the daisy, um, I've got these designer elements, which sadly they are retiring, but I'm hoping that they're, they're going to bring something in that I love just as much. I'm sure they will. I've seen the catalogue. They are beautiful things, but these are just fabulous for the centre of these daisies. So I don't know if they're still available, but if they are, grab some while you can would be my my suggestion. So pop that one there and then just to add a little extra weight here, because these are quite weighty um, embellishments. I'm just going to add that one to the middle there and then see how that weights that down because these are metal, so they are quite hefty. So there you have it. That's your second Z fold card. So a simple one using the mosaic mood speciality paper and some uh, punches, but still using these lovely elements. And then a die cut one with an added element of a punch using the ornate garden. And so, so sentimental. So there you go. I hope you've really enjoyed today. Today is our Z fold card, which is just um, card number three in my series of uh, fun, fancy and wow fold cards, which I'm doing all this month. So check out my details. Have a look at last week's. Come back and have a look at tomorrow's and next week's. And um, yeah, subscribe and that way you won't miss anything. But I think when they stand up on the mantelpiece, they are a real wow to people. Um, especially if you're new to card making and you've never sent anything like this to anyone before, they're going to be really chuffed to receive that in the post. So thanks ever so much for watching. You take care now, stay safe, and I will talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.